Welcome Sunset Motors. My name is Frank Gerard. We're located in West Tennessee. Got a beautiful 2008 Dynamax DynaQuest. This is a 360 XL floor plan, Super C motorhome. This is a very sought after pre-def generation. So no def fluid, a lot more reliable and cheaper to operate. It's got a beautiful full body paint. This is called the Quicksilver paint. 15,000 pound towing capacity. It's got a rear hatch back there that, that opens up. These are nice. This was a, a trade-in. It was a pretty good project. We, we did a lot to it. Brought it back to the way it's supposed to be and it's, it's a blast. A lot of fun. Very nice unit. Got the aluminum wheels, got a lot of new upgrade, new tires, all new headlights, fog lights are new also, marker lights, show them the LED light. Oh, there's Camille, my wife. Hi. She's going to help us out. You're going to leave me out this time. I know it. I'm so used to you being around, so open the door, show them the lights. Beautiful LED. So we replaced all the lights. You know, this is a 16-year-old unit, so... You need a few things to bring it back up. Uh, let's do the compartments. So what we're gonna do first? Yeah, let's do the compartment. These compartments are pretty cool because they raise up. Yeah, they're kind of heavy duty, just like a bus. Isn't that cool? Got lots of storage. Got a sound system for outside. There's all your books. Uh, windshield, uh, windshield shades, side windows shades. Got new mats in them, new lights. This is just like a bus. They go all the way up, there you go. You. Lots of storage. This is a 36 foot, one inch long unit. So it's, it's not huge, but it's, it's plenty big. And lots of storage all the way through, cargo. Here you've got your outside grill hookup for your propane. Is this open? Yep. Yeah. How about that? I like this a lot. Put all your tools and knickknacks away from all the other stuff. Got nice frameless windows. LED lights in the back. This is where you turn on and off the propane. More storage. This is where you put your sewage hose. This is your roomy water closet. You just put your hose up here. You got a 50 amp cord on the power reel and the water hose on the power reel too. And you got a black water flush. You've got an outside shower. 8,000 watt diesel generator with only 400 hours. Been service. Oil change, air filter, and everything needs to be done to it. There's your electronic compartment. It's got the upgraded power package on this one, so you get the 3,000 watt inverter, which can actually run the microwave on the inverter. There's your hydraulic leveling system. Look at the quality of the wiring very impressive and look at these hinges they don't build them like this anymore this thing's built like a tank got all new batteries those are three agm batteries with 630 amp hours lots of power for the coach and those are the chassis battery for the engine new batteries also this is where you fill up it's got a 50 gallon tank on each side, I believe. All right, well, let's go inside. We'll show the engine on, on the way out. This is the fun part. Yeah, even the steps are heavy duty. Feels very sturdy when you come in.
beautiful layout. Nice cherry wood. And this is what I'm talking about with the quality of back then. Look at the thickness of the wood. There was no press wood in this thing. It's all real wood. Yeah, everything's it's got big. upgraded Samsung smart TVs. It's got a sofa bed that pulls out. Makes, lays down. Lays down, that's right. It makes a sleeping area. The upholstery's in good shape. Nice and soft. No rips. Got nice quality hinges on everything. Yeah. I love all the detailing. Yeah. I replaced all the lights, all the LED lights in the ceiling. We've done quite a bit to this unit, but it's, it's awesome right now. Lots of room on the dinette. Corian. Solid Corian top with two legs. Got a nice roomy kitchen area. I love this sink. It's pretty. I love a white sink. Again, Corian. It's a new faucet. This is the Corian stuff. We'll go through the whole coach and replace and fix what needs to be done. So, and the older they are, the more there is to it. That's true. <laughs> but this one turned out nice awesome. Microwave convection. Pretty and, good size. And it works on the inverter. You've got a two cooktop on propane. Got a lot of deep storage in here. A lot of drawers. How about this tile floor? These are real residential tiles it's got a little bit of carpet here but it's in good shape no stains or excessive wear you've got a 10 cubic feet gas electric norco refrigerator everything's been sanitized and clean and ready to go it's got two new air conditioner Got one in front, one in the back, and it's ducted. I like this dome roof. Gives it a little character, like the Winnebago. It's pretty tall in here, yeah, too. Yeah, six I foot mean, six. Six foot, and you have plenty of Six room. foot six, the height. Pretty good. This is a nice little pantry. See, see. Wait, you gotta oh, it's got a strap. Yeah. Okay, nice. Keep it from sliding out. All right. Look at all this beautiful woodwork. This is old school. Look, you have to pull it up and pull it out. Pocket door. Yeah. If I can get it out now. Mm -hmm. You have to help me. Well, we'll do that. What right, you got? There you go. Look at the Solid nice door. On those doors. Yeah. Here you've got either a roomy closet or a storage area, or you can put a, it's prep for a washing, washing machine. You could put the combo. Yeah, a combo, dryer. wash and dry. You still got some more storage in here. There's a lot of storage in this one, which is nice. I like that the sink is separate. And it's got a nice molded. And you got a vanity. Mm -hmm. Got a, nice a separate bathroom. bathroom. Got a macerating china toilet. Got a nice roomy shower. Got an upgraded uh, shower head with a built in water softener cartridge in it. It's got a that opens up and closed. Very nice. Pretty good sized shower. And you got your vent. Got a new memory foam queen mattress with new bedding. Yeah, all this is new. As you control the lights, air conditioner. There's one here too. You've got like closets on each side and these are pretty good sized closets. Drawers. I love this layout. A lot of wood. Yeah, and it's thick, it's solid, heavy. Yeah. Got a nice modern TV. They're all smart. And you got a closet on this side. Same. Yeah. You also got a 
vent up here. It's got a Bose sound system. It's got some uh, light controls up here. I like the fact you can walk around this bed. Oh, it I makes it too. easy to get in and out. And there's and... a lot of room. You got to plug in on each side down at the bottom, and then you got a place here to set your drinks and stuff, which I really like. This reminds me of an older boat we had. Yeah, Same Chris Crow. Yeah. We had a lot of good memories in that boat. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else are we. Oh, let's go to the cockpit because we did quite a bit there too. Forgot to show this control panel here. This is where you control the hydraulic slides and it's a really nice system. They're quick and hydraulic instead of electric. This is your hydraulic leveling system, your tanks, your air conditioner control for the front unit, your inverter, charger, hours, and your buttons for the tank heater and water heater. It's all right here. How about some brand new seats? The original seat had a lot of wear on them, faded. So I broke down and got some nice Bostrom air seats. They got lumbar and they go up and down with the air and they're brand new. They look good too. They're yep. comfortable. Got your camera system. You got the backup camera and the both side camera. You can change the layout of the camera, but that's that's what those cameras are. Very nice. Ice cold AC. Some lights on. Got the CB radio. Got the push button, six speed out of some transmission. It's only got uh, 50. I wonder if it's going to show up here. Or do I have to crank it up? Go ahead and crank it up. That goes away when the air builds up. I was hoping it'd show me the... Oh. 54,282 miles. That's actually low miles. Yeah, very low miles. No def. Got your cruise control. It's got an old school Kenwood radio with the navigation but most people will use their phone for navigation because those things are slower and out of date but the noise is because it's building up the air we're gonna turn that off all right so what about this bow system yeah and here you can see the control for the seats you can go up and down and and then the lumbar support, and you got your armrest here. I mean, this feels brand new in the front too. It's got nice format, nice and clean. Pretty sweet unit. You don't get these very often. For the same price of a new pickup truck, you can get this Pretty awesome motorhome. Isn't that crazy? That's the same price as a high-end truck. This you can make some great memories in this motorhome. Yeah. This is and it's fun to drive. And it's so comfortable. Yeah, it's we drove it to Jackson. We yeah. It's full of fuel, full of propane. Because we had to go to Freightliner get some parts, so we drove it and pretty impressed. Let me see. Let's show the engine. It holds 90 gallons of fresh water, 44 gallons of gray, and 44 black. So it's got pretty good capacities. Is this the 8.3 liter? I believe it is. It's in the description, but can you air filter? Like I said, we just serviced it, changed the oil. It's in good shape, no rust, got a good Carfax. Got a new uh, water separator, fuel filter. These are bulletproof, very reliable engine. 
and the fact that you don't have to worry about death fluid and all the emission crap, I think that's a plus. And we had so many compliments on this motorhome. Yeah, everywhere. I mean, it's like everywhere we stopped, people were like, that's a nice looking rig. Let me see. So it's a uh, 36 foot, one inches long, 11, 11 tall. This will make someone a great first motorhome because they're easy to operate, nothing complicated on them, easy to handle and drive. And as expected, this is 16 years old, so it's not perfect. There is some blemishes in the paint. I don't know if the camera can catch them, but it's, it's, it's not perfect, but it's for what it is, it's nice. We'll go over the coach with you as long as it takes for you to be comfortable before you leave. I'm also here after the sale. You get my cell phone and you can always call me and we'll try to figure things out. It also has a nice big awning yeah. which Frank will take some pictures of. And that's on a remote control. And the roof is in good shape. Uh, I got pictures of it. It's a fiberglass roof, no leaks. Everything works like it should. We do have financing available. And if this is what you're looking for, you can fly into Memphis or Nashville. We'll pick you up and you can drive home a happy camper. And you know, there's no better time than now to go RVing and we would love to earn your business. So just give us a call and make a lot of memories. See you on our next video. Thank you for watching.